believe what time it is. <laughs> We're starting our day. 3.43. This one here is going to stay home and she's going to rest and that's what she's been doing. She's been parked right here all day, right? Yes. Now, does your ear hurt hurt? It's just well, kind of an achy at this point. I think it kind of hurt because of the pressure, so every once in a while I'll plug my nose kind of Okay. Be and that seemed to help us a lot. Okay, good. So that's clearing through. So, but mainly today you're tired and a little bit achy still. Oh well, yeah, it's also just from walking back. Yeah, okay. So she is going to stay home and we are going to go down to Kona and um, we're going to get food for lunch but we're not telling Ashley. So we're gonna go and look around. If we have time, we're gonna run into Costco because Kaylee seems to be um, taking over that t-shirt she got for Jacob. So it turns out that we need to buy another one. <laughs> it's like you don't give a used shirt to someone as a gift. And so we are, I'm standing right here by the light. They're all back behind me because the light is right here. Um, but anyway, we're gonna head off. She's got her cute outfit on. We're keeping shoulders covered. We are peeling. Um, she just spent like 10 minutes trying to peel this Maybe little section. Oh, it's so satisfying to have like someone peel. I know. <laughs> like, right, Kaylee? It's huh? so satisfying having someone peel oh, your sunburn. Having someone peel is yeah. fine. Anyway, but we're gonna head out and peeling. she's looking for another bucket hat, which we did find one. Yeah. at another little shop but I don't think we're gonna have time for that tonight so we'll go and get that tomorrow and Chelsea wants one as well so I'm gonna grab my bag and then we're gonna so far is here our tinted I, I, don't you need to get out of the car and <laughs> you're supposed to open the doors for us when the chauffeur arrives okay all right all right I'll get in by myself Come on. I can't get into these cars. All right, all right. Hold on to the camera. All right. I can't get into these cars very well. They're too tall for me. Well, if it doesn't stop raining, <laughs> we might actually be turning around and going back and getting a takeout pizza or something. Although I don't even know where we would get pizza. We haven't figured that out, but hopefully the weather is better down in Kona. Actually, we can just go to Costco and get their takeout. Oh, pizza. that's a, not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea. That's where everybody can get different ones, but we don't have to worry about it now. We'll see. We'll see it's what this... The weather can change pretty quick. Um, and also, I can't remember... There's so many comments today, but whoever said that they didn't want to come to the Big Island because it was maybe a little too much like um, Reno, Nevada, dry desert. One, it obviously is raining, um, and there's lava rock, so that's a little bit different, but... But yes, a very large majority. I would say 80% mm, of this island looks like I just showed you. Um, one of the roads that we went over yesterday, you'll have seen that when we went over to the other side of the island, it was all like this until you got to the other side and then it turns to green lush. And then if you go up through Wa Wa Waimea, then it is green lush once you get up on to a certain side of it and then it's green all the way across. But the resorts are green and lush because that's man-made. <laughs> it's all for the resort. Um, and, and you can tell even certain areas they only have palm trees every 20 or 30 feet apart versus like totally stacked next to each other because it is young and growing and it's not all like grown in and natural to the area. This is natural to the area and so We'll kind of give a little shakedown of our, our whole experience and our thoughts and the future on coming back to this island in another video, but this is a majority of what you're going to see on this island. So we'll come and cover a lot of more stuff in a little bit. All right, one thing I'm going to chat about while we drive over to Kona, I'm gonna to talk to you guys about this bag of mine. I've had this, I can't even like show you. I've had this big bag of mine for a couple years now. I think I got it in Kauai, but I'm not I'm not positive what island I got it at. But I absolutely love it. It's big, it goes over my shoulder, and it has three different like pockets to it. Okay, so I've got two pockets here. One of them is ripping, I need to stitch that up. And then another one on this side. 
I keep my little pocket here with my lens case so I can pop those on. That's working out quite well. And then I usually have a chapstick or my phone in that pocket. And then the front pocket here, just whatever I kind of need. I have um, some sunglasses if I'm going into the water, into the ocean. And then I have my wallet here and some Clorox wipes right here. Kaylee, you want chapstick? Yeah, let me find it for you. I can feel the ball right there. So kids are constantly asking for things out of this bag and it just makes things really accessible. And then the middle bag has this new little travel bag that I added this year. Okay, so this little, Jason's making fun of me for adding this to our video, but whatever. So this is actually a little over the door um, travel bag, like for your makeup or your bathroom supplies. I got it in the travel section at Target, uh, but it is actually turning out to be quite handy. So it has a cool little like open mouth to the top on the zipper and then I, there's little pockets because it's not meant to like open like this you're supposed to hang it upside down and like, like lay it so the zipper is on the bottom side so you have to kind of open it from there I have some sanitizer and some motion and sickness pills because they have come in handy with all the driving and then I have my case with my batteries in it and then I have a little it's open now because I just got some mints out for my daughter but I have another one of my little purse pouches. This is actually straight from my purse. And then I've got some more pain medicine and some mints and chapstick and cough drops. Just, you know, you name it. I've got little stuff in there. But then there's uh, my other case of sunglasses down inside there. My pair eyewear has my regular sunglasses in there or my regular glasses in that one just in case. And then some more pain medicine. So this little pouch has come quite handy because it's not all sloshing around in this big, huge bag. It's very contained within, and I'm all about containing and organizing. And he makes fun of me until he wants a mint, or he wants a pain medication, or, you know. It, yeah, and then it it's, me uh, of it's, it's someone accessible. Who had a, she, she had a medicine, you know, old school, hard case with a little flap and like, it was like a woman's fishing kit kind of box. That was my grandma. He's being a Thanks schmuck right now. He's being grandma. a schmuck. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I tried a hat on today and no offense to those who like to wear them, but it aged me about 20 years. Well, it's a certain type of hat. A certain type of hat. I really want to cover my neck and my <laughs> my eyes and wear a big huge hat but it was definitely an older style that I shouldn't be wearing at the age of 40 something so I'm just I'm not <laughs> we all know how old I am it's fine but yes this might age me because I've got little pouches inside my pouch bag but whatever when you're a mom and you have to have everyone's chapstick and mints and pain medicine, and I have a kid who's six, so I put her. You become like a kid. Air drops. You need pouches with them. Yes, pouches. I have a lot of pouches. Thanks for your pouches. They come in handy. <laughs> like a light lighting up in the dark. You make it right, I forgot how to act, it's so classic. Every time you make me nervous and I lose my words, it's been a while since I forgot the most simple words.
Chicago's on the rocks. Get here right oh. before five and you'll get a table super quick. I think we had a 15 minute wait. By the time we went in, it was a 45 minute wait. So we are really good at timing our dinners, wouldn't you say? We're getting really good at it. Yeah, really good. We're like old people. We have old medicine bags <laughs> and we go to like early dinner. <laughs> I'm just giving our time. <laughs> I'm making it no, it is. If you go just a little earlier than everyone else, you still have time for the nice evening. And we have the nice off. sunset. I mean, yeah. it's gorgeous. So, and we just gave our leftovers to some homeless guy because we're just not going to eat it. So, you good? Um, okay. That was nice of Jason to do. He just grabbed it and went and gave it to him. So, we're going to go and the leftovers. We just gave it to the oh, yeah. guy living down there by the rocks. <laughs> down by the sea. So, down by the sea. So, we're going to just go and kind of window shop along the way here as we work our way back to the car. This one is tired, I think. And Chelsea is doing good back at home. We've been in touch with her throughout the night. She is now watching Mamma Mia and having a good time. All right, we found some cute sweatshirts for Kaylee and Abby and then a cute little, it's like a tank top with a hoodie for Chelsea, which is like totally perfect. Um, and I sent her pictures and she picked the color and she's very happy. She's not really a shopping kind of girl, so this is like her perfect world where I do the shopping and she gets the, toy, the present in the exchange. So I think right now we're finding bathroom and shave ice. Ah, found a shave ice. We need a bathroom, right? She got it? Okay, we found shave ice. You always look for these big flags. So Ashley really wants one, but the rest of us are pretty full. So she's gonna pick one. What flavor are you gonna get, Boo? I'm gonna guess you like tiger's blood, watermelon, strawberry. It's yeah. a tough decision. Yeah, did I pretty much nail it? Yeah, kind of. I kind of know your flavor, isn't like it? Rainbow too. I know. Rainbow. What? What? What flavor is rainbow? Pog, pineapple, and blue Hawaiian, which is vanilla coconut. That's pretty good. And Pog. Yeah, passion orange guava. Let's get that one. I mean, that's pretty Should amazing. A you want a rainbow? Oh my God. Uh, shark bite. What is shark bite? Blue Hawaiian and strawberry. Ooh, that would be good. It's a tough, tough decision, bro. girl. This lava flow is looking kind of good to me, except I don't like those oh, little cool. berries. Oh, that's cool. That's actually kind of cool, though. Can you guys see that? You get the, what are these called? The popping pearls? And they, like, are the little volcano flow. And we're all thinking, oh, there's no way. Oh, she'll pull this off. Okay, let's, hurry, let's go sit down. No, 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 don't, no. Okay, careful. She's already eating it. Oh, goodness sakes, girl, you are spoiled when you're in Hawaii. You know that? Well, dad's gonna have a lot of it. No, she worked there. How many people does it take to eat it? Are you getting brain freeze? Yeah, here you are. You're still going though, huh? I'm barely eating any. Okay, so this girl is like fully drunk. <laughs> She's like, I know I shouldn't drink more, but I really want to. She's getting a little loopy. It's just like a feeling. Yeah, it's just a feeling. No, it's feeling. <laughs> feeling, yes, you're very full. She's had enough. Yes, you As need to I'm say no. Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay, narrator, narrator is coming back on. We're gonna call it a night. Go home, clean up, and prepare for a fun day tomorrow. Come back and see what we do. Still haven't nailed down all the plans yet, but I think we know what we're going to do. Today, I'm not going to tell you. You just need to come back more tomorrow. So aloha from the big island in Hawaii. See you tomorrow. Like a light lighting up in the dark. You make it right. I forgot how to act. It's so pleasant.